everybody. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. Woo! What the hell? Um, we've got a tour inside the church today. Um, I've been to the service this morning. Beautiful service uh, held by Reverend Palmer and uh, a few other vicars uh, who unfortunately I don't know the name of. I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've managed to film the inside of Oldham Church. We, we go around... Um, around the church itself. I wasn't able to go on the balcony, and I could have done, but it would have meant, you know, putting someone out and asking them to go and get keys and stuff, so I didn't. Um, but they have invited me back for another time, so, you know, next time I'll probably get a view from the balcony for you if you're interested. But I just wanted to get some outside shots. I've, I'm actually filming this after I've filmed, to be fair. Um, but I weren't going to film the outside because it was raining. But it's just stopped. So... I just thought I'd show you these beautiful gargoyles. Now that's a strange thing to say, beautiful gargoyles, because they're supposed to be grotesque. Um, but I just think that is amazing. I think that is absolutely wonderful. I can't. I, I could stand here all day looking at it, mate. You'll see on the video, which we're, we're going to go to very shortly, um, we've obviously not got the wind noise outside, uh, but we do go down into the crypt, we do go up into the bell room, or the ringing room, and we actually get up and close to some of the coffins. Now this is, in my opinion, probably the best video I've ever done on the channel in terms of, um, you know, um, just being able to get access to a public building of Oldham. It's wonderful. Uh, I just want to have a look at this grave because I've, you know what, I've never noticed this before. Who is, oh it's William Clegg. William Clegg of Oldham, gentleman's son of the late John Clegg of the Barn Folds who departed this life 1833, so three years after this church was built he, he departed. Now funnily enough, you know this uh, down here? Some of these people that you see the flags for will be interred down in the crypt when we go and look at it. And one for Oden Vaults, I'll give you a mention, Oden Vaults. Uh, he likes his street names and street origins. And he'll be delighted to hear the tale in the crypt about Barker Street. I'm going to leave her that. But Oden Vaults, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are, Michael. <laughs> Have a load of that because that will, in your words, blow your mind. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, just, just you know, I, I can't thank Reverend Palmer enough. Um, it's, it's wonderful um, that he's allowed me into this building to do filming. Um, and very, very thank you very much to all the wonderful church wardens that took time out of the day, including a friend of my mother's, Derek, who's the bellmaster who very kindly uh, took time out of his day to show me and show you the, uh, the bell room and how, how the pipes come down and everything. So anyway, without no further ado, I'm telling you all the video, have a look and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hello everybody. Well, this is a very, very exciting day uh, because we've made it to Oldham Church. Um, I was adamant that I wanted to come and film and thankfully Reverend Palmer Derek the Bellmaster and a few other of the uh, well Reverend Palmer said it's okay and uh, Derek the Bellmaster is going to show me into the belfry or the bell room should I say but I wanted to start by looking at some of these plaques now I did sit through the service this morning and uh, I was glancing around you know I can't keep my eyes off things and um, I noticed some of these names um, were very very familiar. Now this church was built in 1830. Uh, I'll put notes in about these people, um, who they are and what have you. I'll see what I can find out. Uh, but yeah, this church was built in 1830. Now it replaced an older building that stood up for a few hundred years. Um, at the time, there was a bit of a stink about building this church because it meant knocking down the other one. Now I believe a church has stood on this site since about the 1300s. Um, anyhow, the church that was here before, um, that particular church was, was very beautiful and they said, look, we're going we're to knock it down. 
Um, this Don, Don, John Duncuff, dear, what we'll do, we'll nip down to Cheddarton Cemetery because I'm pretty sure I know where his grave is. Hello everybody. <laughs> a little bit of a cutting on the video. As you know, I always try and bring you as much information as possible and uh, as you've just been watching John Duncuff, and I said I was sure uh, I'd seen the uh, grave. I still haven't found it yet, but I know I've seen it and I know it's in Cheddarton and I know it is because I've double checked as well. But, do you remember that what guy I was just talking about, James G? Well, I've only found his house, uh, his grave, sorry. Just happened to walk past it. Look at this. So here rests the remains of Esther, widow of James G off Lime House. So Lime House, I think, is a, a farm. Uh, I said he was a farmer, didn't I? And Limehouse was a farm that was on the corner of, um, oh God, what's the road called? Orange Road, and you turn onto Lime Side. Is it Lime Road? Um, if you look, there's an old, there's an old wall that's still there, and they built some modern house on it, but that's where the farm was, right? So I've just literally stumbled across this. I don't even know why I didn't think to look for his grave. So I was right, he was born. In fact, let's get round, because I think James is going to be on the other side. Usually are, aren't they? Oh no, it's George Hamilton. Right, let's get back round because he might be underneath. Sorry, still need to find Duncuff yet. I'm determined. It's absolutely pouring down in Cheddarton Cemetery, and I thought I was the only person in, but then I just saw this fella here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And then you've got. He's not in the grave. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Uh, no, he's not. Eric, it's James G then. That's odd, isn't it? In let no. Hang on, when did he die? They might have put him in. They might have put him in crypt up there, but I can't see it. I don't know though. He's not in. He's not in the grave. I, but I, I reckon he must be in Oldham Church then, under the crypt in one of those things. And maybe they decided not to take him out because she was the widow of James G. So he died first. That makes sense. That I reckon he's in that crypt. Me. I'll have to find out. Right, where's this Dunkift? Right, I'll be back in a minute. Oh my God, I found it. You know what? You won't believe who he's buried with. I swear to God, I was just reading this then, thinking, oh, there's another MP there of Westwood House. And then I thought, yeah, this is it. I found him. So excited. Right, this, this tomb belongs to Samuel Radcliffe. He was Justice of the Peace. He was brother of Elijah Radcliffe who was the MP of Oldham who dedicated the fountain to Alexander Park and um, also shot the uh, brother of John Platt who's buried over there and the one he shot is buried right over there. I did it in the Chaddy Graves story. Go, so go watch that. So look at this. We've got Samuel Radcliffe, JP of Werneth Park. I've said in, rec in recent videos, Werneth Park was... Um, was a house, right, okay, let me start again. Werneth Park was basically a gated community for the hierarchy of Oldham, John Platt, Samuel Radcliffe. Now, interesting, I'm gonna use my umbrella to point because it's so high up. So this chap here, he's buried up at St. James's. He was the owner of Lower House Mills, of Lower House, that's the area in Oldham. There's a pub there still, it's bottom of uh, Grinnickers. Lower House Mills was a mill that collapsed and killed loads of people. I think about 17 or 20 odd people in the mid 1800s. Um, so yeah, that's who it is. So this 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 grave is a very 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 prominent Oldham family. Um, and then you've got to Sarah, the wife of Samuel Radcliffe of Werneth Park, and daughter of John. Oh wow! So John Duncuft, who's the guy of Oldham Church, told you the big ones, Esquire MP of Westwood House, which will be in the Westwood, Westwood I imagine, you know, Westwood Oldham. It obviously isn't there anymore, but I'll try and find out where that is. I'm going to do a mansions feature soon because I've got loads of information on mansions. Anyhow, so obviously John Duncuft's daughter, Sarah, has obviously married into the Radcliffe's, which is major of the time, and she lived in... Uh, all oh, right, well, where are the bleeding now is John, John Duncuff then? 
Oh God! So I found his daughter. I just need to know. I just need to know where he is. Right, we're on the hunt again. You know what? Determination pays off. Done it every single time. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to get back to the Oldham Church video now, but I was determined to show you these graves. So, this is really, really badly worn. I knew I'd seen it. Um, so in here is Mary. I think she was the youngest daughter. Uh, Isaiah Duncuft. I like that name, Isaiah. And then John... It's so badly worn. Look, sorry, I'm not even looking through the camera on that. I'm trying to read the stones. So badly worn, but I'm sure I've seen John Duncuff on here. So we've got John Duncuff, Esquire. I can't read it. Oh, friggin' hell. Anyway, we found it. <laughs> so, so this guy was major. Obviously, he's major because he's got you know, like I mentioned in old, I'm trying to save my camera from getting wet it's raining again, I'm going to go now. He was major, so like this is the major hierarchy here. So you've got John Duncuffed, you've got James J, and I can't believe I looked all around the cemetery and he was just behind him. You've got the Radcliffs, who his daughter was married to. You've got John Platt, who, they're all neighbours, they all lived side by side. So, yeah, this John Duncuffed, he, he was a major. Um... But yeah, they said, you know, we're, we're going to knock it down. There was a big, a big hoo-ha um, and there was a lot of deliberating whether actually they should be knocking it down. And um, then one day, apparently, the pulpit just fell on the congregation. So it was one of those. It just had to be knocked down. Um, but yeah, um, the architect who built this church also at the same time built um, Blue Court School. Look at this old chest here. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is in here. So, um... Hello, Reverend, how are you? It's Sarah, how are you? Alright. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at these plaques over on this side of the wall. Um, so, yeah, the same person, that, the architect that built this um, church, beautiful church, also built at the same time um, the Blue Court School. Uh, Blue Court School, you had to be strict Church of England to get a place in there a few years back. I don't think that's so much the case anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, James Buckley Esquire. It's another one that rings a bell. You see, most of these people were uh, very rich uh, and the family laid these memorials once they passed away. And then you've got Albert Broadbent of Werner who died in the 50th year. Also, Albert Broadbent. Church ward, oh, church warden. We'll just uh, nip past the Reverend here. And then we've got Joseph Hardman. Very difficult to read that one. Some of these people uh, are interred um, under the church. I'll be going down into the crypt shortly as well. And then we've got the Reverend. It's a very, 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 very beautiful church, this. Uh, there is a few people milling about because there's just been a service. I wanted to show you this. This is absolutely beautiful. These, um, these, by the way, I'm sure these were installed in the late 1800s. I'll check that fact. Lights I'm talking about. Look at that organ. Now, apparently, what we're looking at there is basically just for show. Um, but it's beautiful and it actually works. There was a choir singing today up the top there. I'm going to see if we can go up there later. Um, and then the altar. So I'm not going to be disrespectful and walk up there because I've not had permission to do that. But to be fair, I've not asked, but I'm not going to ask. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's just zoom in on them stained glass windows. Looks worried, doesn't it, that fella? Look at the artist doing that, that is amazing. And then there's some more further down. Let's have a look at these ones. Why oh, is a saint? 
another saint and another oh they're all saints at the bottom sorry and then let's have a look at the top there beautiful yeah so um, as I said we're gonna very shortly we're gonna go up to the bell room uh, Derek is gonna take us up there he actually knows my mum from a few years back and then once we've been up in the bell room we're gonna go to the crypt below which I've been several times before but I've never done a proper video if you like uh, for the channel and what we can also do is we can have a look through the um, you know round the back of the church in terms of the uh, back corridors and stuff I'm sure that will be absolutely fine right so actually there's been a detour we're going to go to the crypt first look at that beautiful stuff is that the start of the bell tower that yeah. where, where does that take you no, um, that takes you up to the balcony oh can we have a look up there in a bit uh, oh no don't worry leave it no don't worry don't go to any trouble like, you know it's do you, mind yeah. be, do you mind being on camera or would you no, rather not? No, I don't mind. That's where you'll go for the bell too. Ah, you know what? My mum told me that because she used to be a bell ringer here, you know, a few oh, years back. Right. That's how she knows, do it. Right. Down into the crypt. When are you starting doing tours down here again then um, for people who are... I would imagine it'll be after June. After June? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got the... This is the column bearum. What's, uh, what does column bearum mean? Sorry, I'm a bit... This is column bearum. All these people's ashes are in here. Ah, okay. So officially it's uh, classed as a graveyard. Wow. Yeah, so all, the only way to move the ashes from here mm -hmm. is if the Home Office gives you permission to exhume them. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that says there. Fabulous. Really is a sight to be seen down here, isn't it? It's amazing, though. I've been down, you know, I've been down a few times into crypt, and um, one third of the whole cost of rebuilding the church. Yeah. To rebuild the church, it was thirty thousand pounds. That's right. Yeah. And In 1830. The, yeah, and the crypt and this cost ten thousand of that. Thing. Well. Last time I did a tour, they said, uh, and I'm sure you'll tell me all sorts down here, but they said um, the idea behind the crypts, it was supposed to raise funds for the church, weren't it? To... Yeah, to sell. Yeah, but then they stopped it, didn't they? So it yeah, weren't... well, they, they got an outbreak of cholera. Oh, God. And within six months, they had to seal it all up, and nobody else was allowed to be buried down here. And have? even to this day now, you couldn't purchase a no. plot. No. Yeah, no. Well, One of my friends who I've met through my YouTube channel, Dave, is uh, his relations down here, or were the giant of Oldham. Oh, yeah. He's related to him, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, a few hundred years ago, you know. Joseph Skulls. That's it, Joseph Skulls. We'll have a look at his grave okay. as well, this, by the way, everyone. This floor here is back to 1280 wow. from the original church. So if you'd have come... This is what you would have been walking this, on? This is what you would have been Fabulous. walking on originally. Yeah. Look at these doors. So are the coffins behind here? Yeah, so all these are sealed. Uh, the keys are with the families of whoever wow. is in the... So I suppose if ever any families came down, I suppose they'd have the right to... Have they got the key anymore? That's well, the thing. Are, are the families still here in Oldham? <laughs> Yeah. These are the same. And all the and all these huge doors. Beautiful doors, were, aren't they? Were carried down here. Good by hand. grief. How much do one of them doors weigh, do you reckon? Oh, that's be close to a ton, maybe. I was gonna say you'd need a few fellas to lift oh, that, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah sure. And these these candles by the way, this is you do uh, candlelight yeah. tours, don't you? Yeah, um, that's what those are for, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, and in here, sometimes when there's lights on, you can actually see the into them, can't you? Is this yeah. is this a coffin in here? I'll just put the lights on. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Well, there is a coffin. Um... I think it's in here. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, there is one. 
There we go. Can I go in? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free. Look at this, everybody. Yeah. Now this is a lead coffin by the looks of it. They're all they're all lead sealed because of the cholera. Outbreak. That's Thomas Barker. Isn't there a Thomas Barker upstairs mentioned on yeah, the wall? Yeah. Is that him? Barker Street estate. Is that him? Yeah. So this is Thomas Barker who's mentioned Thomas on the plaque and yeah. Barker Street estate. Wow. That's, that's the guy. Who was Thomas Barker then? He was uh, a friend of um, Mr. Henshaw. Oh, the guy from who started Blue Court School. Yeah. Yeah. And they called Back Street Estate after him. After him, yeah. And that is amazing. These were obviously they purchased all these. The small ones were for the children, and the larger ones were for family. But obviously they're not used. But if you look, they've only used. William Barker born 1850. Oh, poor bugger. Oh. Yeah. But like you say, that, that were the end of it. So Mr. Barker went in first. Because, yeah, because and his family was supposed to follow him. Cholera then, yeah. All the coffins had to be lead sealed. And nobody else then after that was allowed. Wow, that's amazing. Down here. Thank you for this opportunity as well. It's really You're kind of you. Welcome. It's people who have it. Most of the people in all don't, don't even know it's here. No, they don't. So all those doors... Are this old floor? Yeah. So all those doors... Yeah. The big steel ones all come down the steps and through these doors here. That's it, they'd have come down the side, wouldn't they? Everybody, yeah, even the bodies. Oh dear, look at this here. Poor, the poor of old on. Yeah, the wow. benefactions. And when the graveyard was actually cleared, hold them. Parish Church graveyard. Yeah. There was fifty thousand bodies in the churchyard, and that one is a full-grown adult of twelve eighty. Wow. So that's how big people were in. Good in God. Twelve eighty. Amazing. They found that in the floor, didn't they? Yeah, they found it. Yeah. 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 This is wonderful. Um, the tunnel, it's down here, isn't it? The entrance to the tunnel. No tunnel, it's a blue coat. There is. No, there isn't. My mum's seen it, she went in it. Honestly, it's a myth. My, my mum went in it though. I promise you. She did, honestly, she went in it. I promise you. She said, when she was bell ringing, Canon Kirkman brought them down. No, there's... Oh, it's there, that's the entrance there. No, on the other side of that wall is where the boiler is. Oh, is it? I well, she, you. she said to me, she said, in the 70s, Canon Kirkman brought them down right. and two fellas started walking up and he said, Canon, he said, don't walk up, you'll get lost. I promise you, there's, <laughs> I promise you there's no tunnel. Look at this. Is this for Easter? Uh, yeah, we use this at Easter. The altar and the pews are from St Andrew's Church on Ashton Road. Ah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, when it closed, we were asked... And in here, you can see the coffins. Do you know who's in here? Uh, no. Uh, there will be records. You can... Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a... Fabulous. And all the coffins would have been brought down on that. Really? That's the original thing? Yeah. So, I suppose they would have carried it on the shoulders then, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, or well, whichever was... Well, Matt, if fancy... it was sealed with lead, I would imagine they'd be... I was going to say, I wouldn't fancy carried. trying to lift them <laughs> yeah. lead ones, would you, eh? That's, Bloody hell! That's the trouble. And these were taken out of the ringing room. Um, obviously, that one was at St Paul's, the oh, church yeah. that we took down. And all these are all the ringing bells. Hang on, you said this has come out of St Paul's? Yeah. Said Peter, oh St Paul's. St Paul's. I was thinking of St Peter's. Of... Wow. Yeah. And these are... All the ringers. our church. Um, Amazing. There's a... Look at that 1844. Yeah. The Peel of Kent. 1832, can I? Three hours and 29 minutes. Good grief. Yeah. So that one here, 
is two year after the church were built, isn't it? Yes. And they didn't have that many bells at that so time, did it? Over the years, it's accumulated more bells. It's something like 13 yeah. bells at, at the moment. We've got 12 bells. 12. We have got another one to hang, and that will give us 13. Good God. That's like a cathedral, isn't it? We've Don't they have? the same number of bells as St. Paul's <laughs> Cathedral. Grief. Uh, there is. Sykes. Yeah. Is it Vernon there? Uh, uh, yeah, Eric Sykes is dad. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Eh? Superb. I said the history down here is amazing. It's amazing. I, I love coming down here. You know, I think it's I think it's a fabulous place. Yeah. You, you know, I'm not delighting in, in people who have passed. You know, yeah. but in terms yeah. of history, it's. Uh, can I go up here? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, good old friend. Joseph Our Schools. Joseph's up here, ain't I? Yeah, Mr. Schools is in there. So everybody, this is the coffin of the giant of Oldham. Joseph Scholes. Now he was the workhouse master and it's reported that when he died, was he six foot seven and thirty-two stone? Yeah, with a seventy-two inch waist. Seventy-two inch waist, look at the size of that coffin. He was a spec sergeant. In the, in the army. Oh, was he? I didn't know that about him. Yeah, yeah. And then look at this one. We've got a name on this one here. This is his third time down here he was laid to rest. He was washed out of the graveyard twice. Is that when people went sailing down um, St Mary's? Yeah, <laughs> when the wall was washed Good out. Good God. Yeah. This is fabulous. So, what's down there? It's just, it's just um, a dead end. There's nothing at the end of here. It's just a, a wall, if you want to have a look. Oh, well, it can't, we won't pick it up anyway. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, because that, from the other side, that's where the boilers are on the ah, other side right. of the wall. Ah, right. Right, this I mask keeps slipping, sorry. It's not a tunnel to blue, but people seem to think it's that one, but it isn't. It just goes through to the Yeah, it goes through to the thing. To the next aisle. Fabulous. And if you look at these, these coffins are bricked in, and apparently they were a famous gypsy family from Oldham. Oh, right. Who have completely different burial ways compared to the others, so they were sealed in stone rather than lead. Bloody hell, that's amazing that, isn't it? Eh? Hey, I'll tell you what's, 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 what's fascinating. How have people got in to put white, to put lights in? Have they gone from above oh, or something? Yeah, all they've done is just hung it through that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but it. One of the things you'll notice as well down here, if you think about 1830 in Oldham, yes. no gas, no electricity, everything was more or less, all this was dug out by candlelight. Of course it were, yeah. Infant mortality was huge in Oldham. Yeah. But when you come through the crypt here and look at the bodies that are buried, you don't see any children. No, you don't, do you? That's the funny and thing, that's yeah. that's because of the money these people had. They could afford the best medical care. So their children survived, yeah, basically. Yeah, right. yeah. Good grief. Look at that old nail there, it was. Behind you, that old nail. Yeah. There's also, if you look on, if you look at these, when they were digging the crypt out, what they did was put blobs of plaster there. They would have stuck candles in. Bloody hell. And if you look every so often, there is a, a blob on the wall. That's right, you can see them, yeah? Yeah. And then just took them down when they were done? Yeah. Fabulous. Well, thank you for that. That's lovely. Oh, you're Thomas Barker. So was he was he a funder of the church then, Thomas Barker? I think he was something to do with it. I think it's because of his position in Oldham. Were he a cotton spinner or something? Yeah, I think they were quite a wealthy family, weren't they? Mm. In Oldham, but I know he was a friend of Mr. Henshaw, who was the founder of Blue Club. I think it was something like, was it to tune of 20 million in today's money that oh, he'd yeah. left for the yeah. your build and that? Yeah, I think in, in the 1800s he left 
Good God. Please. Now, the light, these lights get brighter after a few seconds. Oh, you have to learn more of the LEDs? Yeah, yeah, so, we're going up to the bell tower. It's the second door you've come to. Okay, let me know when you're ready. So, we're going to go up to the bell tower, just waiting for Derek to get to the top because we can't go up together. As you can see, the stairs are very narrow. Look how worn they are. Very, very worn. All them feet that have gone up over the years. This is like, it's as narrow as the, uh, as the one in um, Waterhead. I'm going to leave my handbag down here. Let's go. God, these are narrow. They're very, very narrow, these are, aren't they, Derek? Eh? Yeah, so you've got to be very careful climbing up here. Door, you said. Yeah. Ringing room. Love that you can see that. That's so the ringing room. Let's go. Wow. Wow. wow look at this. So these are, these are what you'd pull to, the bell, what's with the different colours there on that one? It's just that I'm going to get the other colour. Oh. <laughs> so look out of here, this is the view. And to church, church street that isn't it Derek? Church lane. Church lane, sorry. And that's the old courts there isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Beautiful view, but look at it in here. What's in here, if you don't mind me asking? That's the most there. Oh no, no. I know, I know that's not going to happen. And that will clock up there. Oh, it's wonderful. So when, when are you going to start ringing the bells again? Because yeah, this morning. Oh, did you? Mm. Oh, that's nice. Well, after it's socially distanced. And... How do you get, how do you get them back up there afterwards? Want me to show? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can see how close it is. We're doing one more than that. Oh, yeah, you, you, you can't social distance, can so you? We, we, what we've done, we've run um, sort of leaving that adequate space between each other. So you're ringing bells that are... Um, you can't get a peal, do you call it a peal or something? Well, you can call it a peal, but we can ring, like this morning, we rang this one, then that one, then that one, then that one. So they don't sound... Yeah, they're not as, uh, not as they would under normal yeah. circumstances. No, they sound an unusual sequence. Still so beautiful though, don't they? Yeah, good, yeah. Derek, thank you for showing me any. Yeah. So there you have it. Oldham Church's bell room. Very, very kind. They're going to let me come along and have a look round today. Derek's a lovely fella. And I didn't catch the chap's name he showed me downstairs in the crypt. So I'm sorry for that. If I can catch him on my out, I'll... Uh, I'll find out. But well, seeing these old ropes, I reckon them ropes were there when I came looking years ago. So I'll just get the old handbag. And there you have it. 157 to the top of the tower. 
and we'll just clip this old lock here. I want to show you this outside as well that I noticed before. You've got gargoyles outside of the church. But look, you've also got them inside. How gorgeous are they? Let me just see if I can zoom in on this one. I'm gonna wanna show you this one because this one's got a very unusual looking face. Look at him. Sorry, camera's a bit out of focus. It's probably because there's not a lot of light in here. Um, just gonna go back through here. I'm gonna show you this old um, weathercock. This old cock here, let's call it a weathercock. That would have stood above the church for a long time. Look, it's all weather worn, but they've kept it. And then you've got beautiful windows. Yeah, it's debatable about that about that tunnel. He says it doesn't exist, but my mum said that the cannon in the 1970s uh, took her down and said that's the tunnel to school. And she said she saw two fellas walk up there and, and the cannon said, no, don't come back because you might get lost. So, I don't know if I'm locked out here. So there you have it, Oldham Church. I think I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go and get my car now for my aunties, because I left it last night, because I went out. Um, thank you so much. Pardon? I've finished now, yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go walk and get my car, and then uh, 